everybody, it's me, Shaw360, and I am here with a haul that I got from, from Japan. But before I talk about the items, I want to talk to you guys about an event that's happening on December the 5th. So I did a video talking about how awesome Tina Davidson is, and I'm sure a lot of you probably caught it because she's awesome. So, yeah, you should watch that video. Anyway, um, I had said on there kind of jokingly we should have a national or international unboxing day to celebrate her birthday. And I say kind of jokingly because I totally meant it, but I wasn't sure if I was ever going to figure out when her birthday was. Well, she kindly volunteered that her birthday is December the 5th. Well, that kind of coincides with something else that I was involved with here on YouTube, and that is a Secret Santa K-pop exchange group. So last year, I did the Secret Santa exchange with M-Girl Personal, Ghost Rules 3129, and Top Min Kwan. This year we decided to open up a little bit to a couple of other people that we knew here on YouTube. And now we have a group of 13 and we'll all be doing Secret Santa exchanges, but we'll also all be doing unboxings. So, since I can't invite all of you to do the Secret Santa with me because, you know, unfortunately that's just too large of a group to try to manage, I invite all of you to join us for International Unboxing Day on the 5th of December. All you have to do, if you have a camera and you have a K-pop album, show us your album. Talk about what's in the album, what you think of the packaging, what you think of the group, what you think of the songs. Tell us why you like the album, why you like the group. It really doesn't matter what you do on the video. Just show us something that you have that's K-pop related and just describe it for us. Let us see what you got because despite it seeming like everybody does unboxings, the truth is this is actually a pretty small community. This is a kind of specialized hobby and I feel like it's important for all of us to support each other so definitely if you decide to do this on the 5th the way that me and all of my friends are going to be doing it, in the title of your video put either National Unboxing Day or International Unboxing Day. If you want to leave a comment in one of my videos letting me know that you've done it, I will definitely check out your video. I will like it. I will check out probably other videos on your channel and if you have some cool ones I'll probably subscribe but I just want all of us to do this to acknowledge the community that we have and acknowledge that what we're doing is something that's actually pretty awesome even if other people don't see it that way but that's just to tell you about the event I'll have like a little blurb about it in the description box but moving right along let's get to the haul so first thing I'm gonna show you is this it is the automatic version of Red Velvet's ice cream cake. This was the version I really wanted from Jump. Like when I first got this album, this was the version I wanted because Automatic was my preferred song on this album. And I really love the whole black and white drawing kind of sketchbook quality that this had. But this sold out really fast. And you can't currently order it from like K-Pop Town, K-Town for you. You can get the ice cream cake version. You just can't get this version. And you can get it on eBay, but it's getting harder and harder to find at reasonable prices. Well, I ordered mine on From Japan for about, I would say, $10 because it's about a 1,000 yen. And then, of course, you know, I had to pay fees and whatnot. But, yeah, it's in excellent condition. Like, there's nothing wrong with it at all. When you open it up, you've got the disc here. I'm not going to unbox all of it because there's better unboxings on YouTube. And also, I'm kind of doing this on my lunch break, which is why the lighting and the camera is so shitty. Because I'm doing it with my hand and I'm in front of the window and it's just, it's a mess. But anyway, that's the card that I got in case you were wanting to know. And that is that. Everything else I got, completely shiny slash Minho related. So the next thing is this. It is Minho's Coex card. Um, he has a first one that I've got where he's in like a sweater. This is his second Coex card and then this is the back. Now I don't know the difference between the expensive Coex cards and then the cards that Music Plaza hands out. So I couldn't tell you which version this is but I'm glad to have it anyway because now I have a match set. So that's another thing I got. I got this, which is Minho's cover for Sherlock, which I didn't have. Um, when I first ordered Sherlock, I got whatever random version they were willing to send me, and they sent me Jungians, which I don't have a problem with that. I just wanted Minho because Minho's my bias. So I got this one from, from Japan for like 500 yen, which is close to about maybe $4.50, plus, you know, fees and everything else. So it's a little bit more than that. But it's in decent condition. It's got a little bit of wear, like shelf wear, but that's to be expected because this is not a brand new album. It didn't come with a photo card, but I'm just glad to have 
the Minho drawing on the back that I didn't have before. So that makes me happy and it makes me want all of the rest of them even though I don't need to buy three more copies of the same damn album. It also makes me desperately want Minho's Romeo with his picture in the back. So if anybody's got that for sale for a reasonable price, let me know. I've seen it for sale places here and there, but everybody wants like about between $15 and $17. And while that doesn't seem like a lot of money, it's an album I already own. And it doesn't come with a photo card. And it's an older album, so I really don't want to pay $17 for that album. But I don't know. I'll just keep my eyes peeled. Hopefully I'll come across something. The next thing I have to show you is this. This is a Shiny in Wonderland box. I already have one, but I decided to order a second one because there were some cards I was missing. So I'll be going through this when I have a little bit more free time. And once I do, I'll do a video with trades and sales and things like that. But right now, I haven't really had a chance to go through here. Hopefully, I'll get some more awesome things and get myself closer to completion. Because I'm at the point now where I don't need just a whole lot more. But the ones I need are getting increasingly more expensive. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where I'll be once I get all of these opened, but hopefully I won't have to spend too much more money. I'm thinking I might cap myself at about $40 to complete, but we'll see what happens. And then the last thing I'm going to show you all came from the same seller. So first it's these. These are Minho's um, Married to the Music Polaroids, and they are so pretty. I love them so much. The color is super vibrant. You can't tell because of the lighting where I'm at, but the colors are really, really rich and pretty and well done, very saturated. And then this is the back of the card. I like it. I'm happy to get it. And then this is the other one which is a little bit more close up and like I said you can't really tell but it's printed really nicely it's very very pretty oh no there's a little bend on the corner oh well that's okay because I'm not planning to sell these to anybody else so I'm fine with that and then the last thing I got I got this freebie which is a couple of sheets from Minho's everybody post-it set so that's really cute and this, which is Minho's sticker set from the Siam. The Siam. The same. I always want to say the Siam, but it's not. It is the same. Anyway, it comes with these kind of colored stickers on the top, which are cute. When I say colored, I mean the background's colored. And then it comes with these kind of white background stickers on the bottom. And you guys, I'm really debating because I think I've mentioned before that I'm kind of collecting Minho stickers to put on my shiny photo card binder and this is like a sheet full of stickers and I really want to use these on my binder but then I also feel like it'd kind of be a waste if I was to do that so let me know in the comment section what you think I should do. Um, I think I might go ahead and use them though because it's kind of hard to resist. I would love to be able to look at my binder and have the Minho's all over the front. I don't know. But anyway, I didn't pay that much for this. I think I got this plus the Polaroids for a thousand yen. So a little less than ten dollars. So yeah, I didn't spend much at all. But that is my entire From Japan haul. I probably won't be ordering on From Japan for a while going forward. Not because there's anything wrong with the site. Like the site is still cool. It still works the same way. But um, they've recently updated the site. And for me, the update has made the site a lot harder to navigate. Um, recently, I've had some problems with trying to pay for stuff the way I wanted to and trying to figure out how to get to different menu items. And I'm the kind of person I get frustrated really easily. And I kind of have to leave things alone once I get frustrated and then go back to them later. So We'll see if I'm able to make it work. I don't know if I will. I hope I will. But yeah, I've enjoyed the site so far, but I've been approached by a couple of different people about trying some other sites, and I might try those out. Um, I had somebody from Remombo leave a comment on one of my videos asking me to try their site, and then I've had a couple of you that have tried some other sites, so... I, I, like I said, I might check them out. I haven't really made up my mind yet. But anyway, that's everything. And I hope you guys decide to do International Unboxing Day. Probably every video I do from now until the 5th, I'm going to mention it. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk with you later. Bye!